Aberration will be delayed by some weeks. So guys, as you already know, probably, everybody already knows this, Aberration was delayed. I really was hoping that it, they would release it, but you know what, okay. I prefer that they take extra time and actually give us something that's not gonna break on day one. So as much as I am disappointed and annoyed, at the same time, I'd probably be even worse if they had released something crap. So whatever, uh, you know what, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait longer, it's, it's fine. But they did actually show us off some pretty cool stuff here today, so we're gonna be going through all of that, kind of just showing off the clips from the stream. Unfortunately, they had a face cam on the whole time, so I can't really get rid of that at all, so uh, we're just gonna have to put up with that. But either way, guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point, go ahead and beat the crap out of that like button, it really does help me out. And uh, yeah, let's just go through everything in this trailer. So, one of the first things that they showed off was some new mushrooms that you can collect off the ground, essentially just different things instead of just berry bushes you can also get mushrooms and maybe these mushrooms are going to be used to make different stews or possibly to make like battery acid or something uh just different things like this um they're probably going to have many uses i assume but uh yeah that's just one new item that they showed us off so one of the really kind of like interesting things that they showed off i uh, was kind of a little bit taken back when they showed it but i guess it can be really useful is glowing dinos um there are aberrant variants of each creature that you would normally find on like the island and such so you can find those on here you can't bring them back to any of those maps but you can only have them here these aberrant dinos will glow in the dark essentially um it just kind of like lets off a little bit of light um, in, in around the area that you're in, I, I don't know. I mean, it seems like it might be useful. Maybe they didn't completely show off its all of its uses, but it might be an easy way of finding your creatures in the dark, I guess. I mean, it's pretty cool, whatever. So they showed off the Bulb Dog, which is its official name. We used to call it the Lantern Pug, but now it's got a proper name. It's pretty cool. Uh, so this creature sits on your shoulder. Yes, that fat little thing sits onto your shoulder and probably drools down your shoulder. <laughs> so yes, this is just kind of like an early on creature that you can tame, kind of like the Jerboa on Scorched. It's going to be very useful though. It's a utility creature, so you want one of these on your shoulder because it lets off light and protects you from the things that come out of the darkness. In Aberration, in the dark, it is dangerous. There's things that like they're just gonna come and eat you essentially So you want to protect yourself from all of that you need to get one of these onto your shoulder It has a little stack called charge This is essentially just its light source once that depletes down completely It's gonna obviously stop lighting up which can be dangerous So that's probably a new stat that you can even pump onto it as well And there's probably items that you can feed to it to maybe even like I guess increase the charge that it currently has, see if it's like down by a little bit, you could probably feed it a couple mushrooms or something to increase its, its, I guess, charge stat, whatever. <laughs> anyway, that is the Lantern Pug. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. So they also showed off many new things inside of that little base, but one thing that I spotted was the tech hyper chamber we haven't seen anything of this in a long time it's been in the dev kit we talked about it last year when they revealed it was going to be a thing it's essentially a tech version of a bed and last year they explained it as now this could be completely different now but last november it was explained as a bed that is almost indestructible and you could get into it and it would kind of revitalize you a little bit so maybe when you're like if you're I guess infected with something like a disease or if you're low health you can hop in it's gonna heal you or take away that disease or something not exactly sure uh, I don't know if they've changed it completely it might have different functions but that is the hyper chamber really exciting it's part of the tech tier obviously on this map there's little element chambers where you can actually harvest element apparently so getting to tech tier won't be too much of an issue on here but some other stuff that they showed off inside of that room was the wingsuit the wingsuit is a skin, it goes over whatever you're wearing as your chest piece, which is kind of interesting. I thought it might be its own little chess piece instead, but essentially you kind of just replace whatever you're already wearing. Really nice, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. That means that we can actually use it with previous things like on the island and such. And maybe, I don't know if it would go on to a tech suit, probably not, but we could try that eventually. And some other stuff that they showed off was the uh, climbing picks as well, pretty cool. We're gonna get into all that in just a sec. Then they showed off the wingsuit. 
probably something everybody wants to use. I certainly really want to use this thing. I think it looks amazing. I think this on any map is going to be amazing, especially actually this and the climbing hooks and Ragnarok. We're totally doing that when this comes out. But anyway, the wingsuit looks pretty interesting. You can kind of just like activate it whenever you jump off a surface. Um, so you can essentially just glide different places. I've seen that you can actually slightly gain a little bit of altitude with the glide. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be exactly like the Griffin's glide. Probably going to be something a little bit similar, but not as, I guess, fluid. You're probably going to fall down a little bit more than you actually rise. So it does look like you can actually gain a little bit of altitude, not a huge amount though. Either way, you can combine this with the climbing picks. You can basically glide up to a wall and immediately latch onto that wall with climbing picks which is it just makes climbing around and getting around this whole map amazingly fast and easy and like pvp wise this is gonna be crazy just like being able to jump off surfaces and like glide into people and oh my god they need a way for us to pick up people oh that needs to happen but anyway um <laughs> all of that aside the climbing picks and the wingsuit combined makes for a very, very versatile and OP person if you can actually master them together really well. Um, but yes, I'm really excited for both of these things especially. So they didn't really show off any weapons at all, which I was kind of looking forward to. Uh, I would definitely want to see some of the charge cannons and things like that, but unfortunately they didn't really show off anything. So there are many new weapons coming to this DLC, which we'll go through eventually when it does come out. But I heard that there's like a railgun and just different things like that. I'm really excited for all that good stuff. But one thing that they did show off was the Rock Drake, which is, oh my god, what they talked about about this thing? Holy crap, it just sounds amazing. So the Rock Drake is that creature from the trailer that went invisible and started to glide, if you guys remember. I think everybody remembers this thing. I mean, it's really, really awesome looking. It is a two person mount, so two people can be on it. One person, I guess, uh, directing it and then the other person like shooting or whatever. So it's essentially kind of like your wingsuit and your, <laughs> well, actually kind of, it's, it's like a wingsuit attached onto the back of a Megalania. It can walk up any surface and it can also fly, like, well, it can't fly, it can glide from different surfaces and it can kind of like shoot through the air to other surfaces. You could latch onto a tree and then jump off, glide to another tree and immediately latch onto that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like getting a griffin, a thyla and a megalania and just slapping them all together and getting this amazing creature. They talked about this thing a little bit. Also, it has camouflage, obviously, and the wild ones do get camouflage as well, which is even more terrifying. So you might just randomly be walking around and then suddenly something's hitting you, but you can't see anything. That's terrifying. But anyway, and the the, <laughs> the rock drake has its own trench, kind of. I don't know if it's legit going to be the exact same as what we saw in Scorch, where it's like those giant obsidian pillar type things. But it's gonna it's gonna essentially have an area where you can get these things, and I assume it's gonna be stealing eggs. It's I don't know if you're gonna be able to tame them. It's really like <laughs> all of it. Like, we don't know anything about this stuff, but they said it's going to have its own trench, so that kind of leads me to believe that maybe we can find eggs that we can steal. That would be awesome. Anyway, the Rock Drake is essentially going to go into some ballistic Super Saiyan mode when it sees the Reapers, and if you guys remember what the Reaper is, it's actually that giant creature from the end of the trailer that kind of looks like a giant xenomorph. The Reaper is the prey of the Rock Drake. Rock Drakes go after them, Rock Drakes kill them, and it's gonna have some sort of boost or something like that when you're near one of these guys and obviously that's so you can kill it. So if you want to kill a reaper, get a rock drake, but the rock drake's probably gonna be super hard to get as well, so I don't know if that's gonna be so easy, <laughs> man. But anyway, yes, that is the rock drake, I'm really excited, obviously the colors and everything are just amazing looking. Everything about this creature just screams, tame me now. And that's exactly what I want to do. This is probably going to be the, one of the first things I want to check out when I'm actually checking out all the creatures separately to a series. Uh, for sure. Oh my god, I can't wait. So, also in the news, <laughs> we're essentially getting some more Season Pass uh, skins. I'll show some pictures right now, courtesy of my friend MindMelt. Uh, he, he quickly downloaded the update and tried them on. So you can see here is a lantern pug. Uh, it looks really derpy. It has a giant tongue sticking out and obviously has the lantern thing on its head. Um, so this is a player helmet uh, skin, so you can put this on small creatures like Jerboas or otters or uh, monkeys and things like that. 
and also on a Gigantopithecus, I assume, as well. And then also we have the Reaper skin, which is obviously the giant creature, the prey of the Rock Drake. We have one of those as well, which functions the same way. They look really cool, actually, and to get these, you need to own the Season Pass, so buy that on Steam. It is actually worth it. I mean, you do save money, so yeah, go ahead and buy that. So another really amazing thing that they announced was that Structures Plus was getting officially, or is getting officially, integrated into Ark. It's not going to be like a mod DLC, it's going to be a part of Ark. It's going to be an option that you can choose to have on your server or not. There's probably going to be official servers with this on too. I don't exactly know about all that. But get this, it's also coming to console. You console guys are also going to get this. Hopefully you're not going to have to wait like four or five months like you did with Ragnarok. Um, but I think at this point they're only like starting to integrate it. So obviously not everything from Structures Plus will come in, but hopefully the majority of it will. It's going to be an option for you to actually turn on onto your server. It's not like a game mode. It's not anything. It's just something that you can enable essentially, which is really cool. Now, honestly, guys, if you have a private server, enable it. Structures Plus is amazing. There's so many awesome things in it. Even just the triangle foundations themselves are actually worth it. But anyway, that is like huge news. So that is two sponsored mods becoming officially integrated into Arc. Oh man, I wonder what the next one's going to be. Leave some uh, comments down below. Let me know. So that pretty much wraps up everything that we have right now. I'm I'm still I don't know I'm still kind of on the edge about this whole aberration thing. I really can't wait for it. I, honestly, it's it's gonna be so amazing. I'm even more hyped after seeing all of this stuff. So hopefully, eventually we'll get all of it. We'll see. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you can subscribe. And uh, do you subscribe? Hit that bell button down below because we're gonna be covering everything aberration when it does drop. If it does drop, <laughs> it will drop eventually. We'll see. Anyway, I will catch you next time.